Mass Shorts. Scientific notation is a concise way to express very large numbers, such as the circumference of the Earth in centimeters, or very small numbers such as the diameter of an atom. Scientific notation is written as a product of a number and a power of 10. Here's a number in decimal notation. That's a small number. Time for scientific notation. First, move the decimal over until there's just one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. The exponent indicates how many places the decimal point has moved to the right. This is the same as saying 5 and 4 tenths. Divided by 10, 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 divided by 10. Woo! A more concise way to show you're dividing 5 and 4 tenths by 10 8 times is to say you're multiplying 5 and 4 tenths by 10 to the power of negative 8. That's using scientific notation. The method is similar for numbers that are really big. To change from standard form to scientific notation, just keep track of the decimal. For whole numbers, the decimal point is at the end of the number. Move the decimal point so there's only one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal. The exponent indicates how many places the decimal point has moved to the left. That's the same as saying 4 and 75 ten thousandths times 10 times 10 and so on, for a total of 9 times. Multiplying by 10 9 times is represented by the exponent, positive 9. Why do we need this number to be between 1 and 10? To make it easier to understand, compare, and do arithmetic with extreme numbers. To understand this number, you have to count up all the places to see if it goes to the millions, billions, or higher. In scientific notation, we can understand that the value of the number is approximately 4 with 9 zeros after it. At a glance, these two numbers look like they're almost the same. To know for sure, you can count the digits or you can use scientific notation. We can see that the number on the right will be bigger since it is multiplied by 10 to the power of 10, whereas the number on the left is multiplied by 10 to the power of 9. Multiplying these numbers is a lot easier if you use scientific notation. First, you multiply the numbers separately. Let's round 4 and 75 thousandths and 3 and 95 hundredths to 4. The product of 4 times 4 is 16. Next, you multiply the powers. We know when powers are multiplied, exponents are added. Here we get 10 to the power of 19. The product of these two numbers is very close to 16 times 10 to the power of 19. As you can see, scientific notation makes it much easier to do math with extreme numbers.